Daxos Blessed by the Sun. For two white mana, you get a legendary enchantment creature demigod category. It's got two power, and his toughness just is equal to your devotion to white, which means if he's on the board, he at least has two toughness because he adds two devotion to white, at least. For an Oathbreaker, if you're playing like Elspeth, Gideon, you're likely going to add some more devotion, especially if they're out when you have Daxos. So it's gonna be four, five, pretty much minimum, unless he comes out early in the game. But still, you have other white chump block creatures or other enchantments on the battlefield, which are all adding to your devotion to white, which makes him pretty tough. So what exactly makes him powerful in Oathbreaker? His special ability. Each time a creature enters the battlefield or dies under your control, you gain a life. In Oathbreaker, it's a multiplayer game. You each start with 20 life versus Commander. Another multiplayer game, you get 40 life. So life is a lot more valuable here because there's less of it to go around. Planeswalkers, a big key role in Oathbreaker. Especially, we need creatures to protect our planeswalkers as well as to destroy our opponent's planeswalkers meaning people will rely upon creatures to get around lots of issues that their opponents have white is especially good with the white we need token strategies lots of soldiers you got elspeth creating three one ones all the time that's three life right off the bat if you have daxos on the battlefield and when they go away you just keep getting more life Players also have to choose, do they want to attack your Planeswalker, your Oathbreaker, or do they want to attack you so they can whittle you down and eventually defeat you? They can't <laughs> go after both. We don't really have to worry about that in Commander, because it's either you or the creature, but you use removal to get rid of the creature, but Planeswalkers are a little bit harder to remove, and that's why creatures are the go-to. And because there'll be more creatures, Daxos gets new life for creatures dying and reappearing. A lot of planeswalkers destroy other creatures or create their own. Versus a lot of creatures in commander, a lot of commander creatures that you put in the command zone like your planeswalker and oathbreaker, they aren't really always creature makers or creature defeaters. So because of the second ability by Daxos and his very low mana cost, I think he will be very effective inside Oathbreaker games versus Elder Dragon Highlander Commander. He won't be as useful in there. Yes, there's infinite creature combos, but at the same time, if you're only gaining one life each time a creature passes or appears, I mean, it's like, it's only one life. That doesn't really do much and gaining life doesn't really win you the game. It stalls the game, but you have to have bucket loads of life in order to be considered as undefeatable. But even then, during Commander, there's also alternate win conditions that people rely on. Drawing out their whole decks, that's not too huge in Oathbreaker, there's always Jace, but you can't even worry about Infect in Oathbreaker versus Elder Dragon Highlander, if somebody has an infect creature, oh, just make it unblockable and it gets through. No. There isn't any reliable infect decks in Oathbreaker to even worry about gaining a ton of life and preventing you from defeating them. So with a creature like this, that's always going to be getting that little triggered abilities here and there. You can't even be touched without gaining life hardly. God forsaken board wipe happens, you've got a ton of life, and white loves board wipes of its own. Oathbreaker games are typically shorter than commander games as well. Commander games go for like 15 turns, Oathbreaker games probably is between 8 and 10, so with a lower costing mana, turn 2 this guy pops out, oh man, he's on the board, what you gonna do? And then each creature you summon after that, you just get more life mana. In conclusion, and because you'll be playing more creatures and life is a more stringent resource in Oathbreaker is much better. Daxos, blessed by the sun, is much better in Oathbreaker than Commander, and that's why I encourage you to use it in your white Oathbreaker decks.